Hello you guys, so I am back in the States and I thought I would do a couple days in my life vlog. I'm going to be going to a few of my favorite stores here, picking up some stuff. I'm um, going to be just doing a bunch of few fun things, so I thought I'd take you guys along. I just got out of Ulta and Trader Joe's. I had to come my first weekend here. So excited to finally be able to get in there again. I didn't get so, so much, you know, when you're just like overwhelmed. So I'll definitely be back there. I know that. One of these days, one of these days of the month that I'm home. So I just wanted to give you guys a little haul. I am trying the Trader Joe's Greek non-fat coconut cream yogurt. I really like yogurt like this, so we'll see how that is. I also got their protein dark chocolate muffin um, oatmeal. So I'm going to try that. It has 12 grams of protein. It's gluten free. Never had that before. And then I'm also going to try their ginger lemon probiotic sparkling beverage never tried this either and I'm really excited I like to get things that I've never tried before aside from the things that I always get just to mix it up a little bit and then some other things that I got I just got some like fresh mint and sage I'm gonna be making some cocktails this weekend or I should say mocktails so I just need some ingredients for those and then in Ulta I had a $10 gift card and I go up to the counter and it's not active until the 29th and it's literally 27 so that sucks but anyway the things I picked up weren't that pricey anyway and it's some things because it's currently the Sephora sale right now so these are some things that I couldn't get from Sephora so I picked up um, another ordinary hair care multi-peptide serum for hair density I think you can get this from Sephora though, but I just knew that they had it at Ulta and if you guys aren't new here you would know I love this product. When I stop using it, I feel like I really do see a difference in my hair density. And then I also got the next three products are all peach slice products and I don't think that they are at Ulta if I'm correct. So as you guys know, I absolutely love their toner. This is their exfoliating toner and it's good if you have um, acne prone skin. And this is one of my favorite, favorite toners. I love the Polish Choice one and I saw that this was a dupe for that a while back and it really is and it's also like half the price which is so nice so I go between those two when I can get this one I would prefer to get this guy I also got their nose pore patches I just feel like I need to do that I feel like I haven't done it in a while so I want to get these and they are definitely fairly priced and then I also got their which I never tried before it's their snail rescue intensive wash off jelly mask it's it's with 95 percent snail mucin concentrate and i've been using the snail mucin the viral snail mucin and i've been liking it i feel like it has made a difference in my skin so i wanted to try this and i've read good things about it so i'm gonna try this and i will report back but i'm definitely going to be back to both of these stores before I head back to Switzerland just because you don't always remember all of the things you need or want or to try. Trader Joe's was a little bit busy and I feel like when it's a little bit busy in there it's kind of overwhelming. So that's something that I'm definitely going to need to head back to. Definitely going to take you guys along the rest of my weekend. I'm doing a couple of fun things, seeing my friends that I haven't seen in so long and going to a few places that I really do miss while living in Switzerland. So thought I'd take you guys along with me.
Good morning, you guys. So I just finished up making my niece and nephew's little boo baskets. I know I'm crazy, but I just love giving them stuff. And Halloween is this week, and my nephew is actually really into it this year. So I want to share what I picked up. I actually headed to Marshall's, and I got some more fall decor. As I mentioned in one of my past vlogs, that I wanted to pick up some stuff while I was here because it was kind of scarce in Switzerland. So this is for next year. I got these two little cute little pumpkins for decor. These are their little boo baskets. So my niece is literally nine months old. <laughs> so I just got her this cute little girl off of Amazon. It's like a pumpkin girl. And then I got her some pajamas from Burt's Bees because they always need new pajamas because they grow so fast. I just got her a bunch of different sets. And this bag is also from Marshall's Home Goods. And then I also got one for my nephew, of course. I got him these glow-in-the-dark little cups. Um, he's very into Bluey, so I got him a coloring book. How to, to Catch a Monster book, which I thought was really sweet off of Amazon. He loves, loves, loves Nightmare Before Christmas, so another color book. And another Bluey Halloween magnet book. And then, of course, just some more pajamas because, again, I always can use pajamas. And then I didn't put any candy because this kid is going to get more candy than he knows what to do with. So Today I'm actually heading to the mall with my mom. We're going to do some early Christmas shopping just because I won't be here. And she wants help buying gifts for other people as well. So we're heading to the mall. It's actually one of the most beautiful days here. Um, and of course we're going to the mall, but that's okay. We have stuff to get done, shopping to do, so... back home and I thought I would give you a little haul. We did get a ton of stuff done. We did a ton of Christmas shopping so that's out of the way and then we also got a few things for ourselves. But I wanted to share some of the things that I picked up in some of the stores that I really really miss while living in Switzerland. The first store that we went into was Crate and Barrel and I got a little marble dish soap holder and maybe for lotion as well. I thought this was great and went with all of the other pieces that I have in my kitchen. I also got a table runner just like this beige one that has a little bit of fringe at the end. Um, we will be having Christmas at our house this year so I just really want to decorate the table and make it really nice. So I got this and I'll probably get some little napkins and table decor another day but I got that and then I also which I'm really happy and excited about uh, is this kind of like cheese board for my kitchen I probably want to prop it up against the backsplash in my kitchen and it is like a Christmas tree I love it it's so so pretty and I think it'll look so nice then we went into Bloomingdale's um, and I picked up I'm actually going to a winery next week with a few of my friends. I will definitely be vlogging. And I got these really, really cute, like, flare leather shorts. Or I should say, they're probably vegan. They're probably pleather. Um, but they are from Free People. And they're so, so cute on and I'll wear them with like a pair of stockings and boots 
and just like a sweater. I thought they were really super cute. And then I also got these chocolate brown knee-high boots that are so beautiful. I feel like it's really hard to find chocolate brown pieces and when you find them, you need to get them. These are actually Steve Madden. I just, I didn't take the box because it was too bulky and I obviously can't pack that to bring it back to Switzerland. I'm trying to see what the name is for you guys. The Bi Big Spy, I think is the name. And I got them in a six and a half and they are absolutely beautiful super comfortable I love how the heel is the same color just really really nice and for my husband I went into Lululemon it's always so crazy in there but I picked up one of these tees for him he absolutely loves all Lululemon and just their like athleisure wear this is their Licensed to train relaxed short sleeve shirt and it's like this really nice material He has it in a bunch of different colors. So I just got it in the brown and I also got him these Licensed to train cargo joggers in this kind of muddy color Which is also really nice it's one of his Christmas presents and a cute little beanie that I may or may not steal from him but that's what I got from Lululemon. I went into Aritzia which I can get lost in. Um, we actually don't have Aritzia in Switzerland which is kind of sad but I got this beautiful buttery chocolate brown bomber to obviously go with my new boots and I'm so excited it's a little oversized so I took it in the extra small and the name is the Avedon. It's the rich mocha brown color. And you guys, it is stunning. Stunning on. I feel like it's a perfect, like I don't have anything like this. I have a lot of black and I've been really wanting to get more brown pieces in my wardrobe. So I'm obsessed with this. Also got their TNA socks, which I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. Um, and I got a few different colors so I can wear them with my Uggs. Last pieces, I went into Banana Republic and I got this just simple black belt with this, say, like a chromey hardware. And I'll probably wear these with that sh those shorts that I just showed you. And a just plain black because I felt like I needed one for the winter cashmere beanie which is so so cute and I feel like I have such a small head but this fit me perfectly so I really just had to get it and yeah that is what I picked up today and then a few other um, Christmas gifts for my in-laws <gasps> who's that Jack and Sally morning you guys I'm heading to one of my best friends house today I'm so excited to see her and her daughter and her husband I haven't seen them in since the last time I was home so it's been a while and today is the most gloomiest rainiest day yesterday was absolutely beautiful it was like 80 degrees which is insane for this time of year and now we have this cold and rain <laughs> but I am heading there now and we're going to be making some mocktails for our sober October.
I just got back home and it was so so nice spending some time with my friend and her daughter and her husband. It was so so nice to see them. It's been a really long time. Uh, but the mocktails that we made were actually really really good and we would highly recommend if you wanted to try mocktails. Um, I'll leave the at down below of the TikToker that I found them from. I think she makes a bunch of different kinds and they were pretty good. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm just going to relax a little bit and have a cozy night in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please do consider subscribing because it really does help me create more content for you guys. And give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to answer anything. But thank you as always for watching and I hope you join me for my next one. Bye guys.